25 nanoseconds. So it's more objects. complicated than tagging penguins and following where they go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I would say that. Just slightly. <laughs> slightly. Yeah. All right. Um, and uh, and Mar Marcella, you're at, at Fermilab. Correct. Now, I've been out there. That's a pretty big, that, that, that's no slouch of, a, of an accelerator. Um, yeah. What can LHC do in terms of dimension or energy or whatever that, that gets beyond uh, Fermilab? Okay, so, well, Fermilab is running at the moment, the same as LHC is starting to run, and Fermilab is kind of at the end of its period. And uh, instead of being a 70-mile circumference, Fermilab is a four-mile circumference, so it's like the little brother. And uh, um, we measure kind of energy in terms of many times the mass of a proton. So Fermilab collides a proton and an antiproton, and each of them has uh, an energy of 1,000 times the mass of a proton. Uh, LHC instead is going to collide a proton against another proton, and they will have uh, 7,000 times the mass of the proton. So it's basically uh, seven times more powerful uh, in energy. And the idea is that um, because uh, energy is equal mc squared, if we have more energy, although these, these protons are going much faster, the idea is that at the end we will be able to produce particles that are much heavier than the ones that we can produce at Fermilab. And in fact, at this moment, of course, both colliders are trying to uh, find the Higgs, and I don't know the how. Higgs. Well, the Higgs. The mystery of where is the Higgs we'll <laughs> so get to in just a moment. So this is the race but... for the Higgs at the moment. Yeah. And, uh, with my we could have called this whole se session a uh, race for the Higgs rather than back to the Big Bang. But uh, so, that's yeah. another story, and we'll get to it in just a second.